Hey, it's the Empire. Don't forget to hit the like button, the subscribe button, and the bell icon for more videos. Be taking over. Let's go, champ. Hit that like button, hit that subscribe button right now. Let's go. Hey, it's the Empire. Geoboxing Empire. Back to boxing. Now, man, huge news, man. Huge news. Anthony Joshua exercises the rematch clause against Andy Ruiz, man. Crazy stuff, man. I, I knew this had to happen because if this didn't happen, well, all the titles would be up for grabs. Everything it will take years to get it back. Four or five years at max because Andy Ruiz could easily lose the fights. He could easily vacate the titles. I mean, anything anything could have happened with Andy Ruiz or all could have been consolidated with Andy Ruiz and Deontay Wilder, man. You know, crazy stuff, man. I'm really, really, really excited that this fight's going to happen again. Um, they, they say it's going to be most likely in November or December. And that being said, this fight is most likely not going to be in America. Why? If you get knocked out in America, you're supposed to take uh, like at least, I, I'm pretty sure it's close to a year off. It, there's no way you're, you, you get knocked out and then you fight again in three, four months. It's just That's just not going to happen, right? Um, and basically, you know, what this is insinuating is that Anthony Joshua is fighting again this year. But yeah, like I said earlier, you, when you get knocked out in boxing, you can't just come right back. You know, Anthony Joshua was pummeled in this fight. Um... He was dropped four times. He took a lot of punishment in this fight. This fight ended on the second half of the fight. Ended in the seventh round. So Anthony Joshua took a lot of punishment. And I doubt he can pass any of those uh, strenuous tests that America has to make you um, come back again and, and fight. Now in the UK, man, UK is infamous for having fighters over there with triple-digit losses. When I mean triple-digit losses, I don't mean, you know... One through nine losses. I don't. I don't mean ten losses, twenty losses, thirty losses, eighty, ninety losses. I mean a hundred plus losses. So if you if you want to fight anywhere and get stopped and come back like in a, within a week or two, UK is the place for that, man. UK is the place for that. They're much more lenient on the condition you have to be to fight, and they're gonna let Anthony Joshua fight in the UK, man. They're gonna let him fight in the UK. This fight would be. Huge in the UK. It's a redemption fight. It has a good, you know, um, story of comeback. And this fight's going to happen in the UK. Just based off of, like I said earlier, when you get stopped in America, you can't just come back that quick. It, they won't allow it in America. They won't allow it. You can't do that. It's, it's a thing. I don't know how long it is, but I'm, I'm pretty sure it's it's longer than what their rematch clause is now with, with the fight coming up so soon. I know for a fact they cannot fight in America. So that being said, man, they're going to be fighting in the UK most likely. And if it's not in the UK, it's probably outside the United States, which would be hot. Maybe Dubai. Who knows? But I'm, I'm, I'm most, most likely, you know, for, you know, common sense sake, most likely going to be in the UK. Now, I'm really excited to hear this fight happen again, man. Uh, Anthony Joshua, for the first time in his career in a long, 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 long time. No, in my opinion, this could be the first time in his career that he actually has something to prove and that he actually, you know, has something to overcome because he actually lost his fight. Now, when he fought Vladimir Klitschko, people were saying back then that Anthony Joshua was going to dog walk Vladimir Klitschko. They're saying, they're, saying he just, they're just going to dog walk him because at the time, Tyson Fury already beat Vlad. So they already seen him get out boxed by Tyson Fury, which, you know, Tyson Fury really beat Vladimir Klitschko. That fight, the, both those fighters threw the least punches thrown in heavyweight history for a title fight. So that was an extremely low-volume fight. They both didn't throw any punches, but Tyson Fury completely dominated Vladimir. So that being said, Anthony Joshua was overdog going into that fight. You know? So, but but this is a little different. Andy Reid's already stopped Anthony Joshua. He actually, Anthony Joshua actually has something to prove. And for the first time, he's facing controversy in his career. Real controversy, not like hypothetical. This actually happened. He already lost the first time against Andy Ruiz. So this is a known dangerous fight that he already lost. This is not speculation. This isn't some analytical, you know, masturbation. This is a reality that actually happened. That being said, man, Anthony Joshua has a lot to prove. And we could possibly see the best Anthony Joshua we ever seen. You know, um, a lot of people talk about how Anthony Joshua is really stiff. And maybe he might come more lean for this fight, you know. Working out, I'm pretty sure he's going to cut a lot of things, a lot of fat off his 
training camps and focusing on things that really don't pertain to boxing, such as maxing out all the time. I think Anthony Joshua should just straight, strictly focus on this is straight pure boxing, pure boxing and, and getting his stamina a little better, and um, just throwing punches, man. He needs to just have rounds where he's just letting his hands go, combination punching, you know, and, and def defense. My God, he needs some defense. He <laughs> so that would definitely help him out. I don't want to see Anthony Joshua touch one weight on this Ruiz training camp, not one fucking weight. I don't want him seeing him doing any weights whatso fucking ever. I want him seeing him only do boxing, only boxing, only boxing, only boxing. You know, at heavyweight, there is no weight classes, so there's no need to try to make some, you know, imaginary weight. You know, he needs to just straight focus on cardio, stamina, and the basics, the boxing, the basics. You know, um... So, yeah, we're going to see how this whole thing turns out, man. This is really exciting. You know, Andy Reese is talking about he's only going to fight in L.A. or New York. That's probably not going to happen. That's not going to happen. Just because, like I said earlier, he just got stopped. There's no way they're going to let him fight in America within that short notice. It's not going to happen. Let me know how you guys feel about it, though, man. Rematch clause. Are you guys excited to see it? I'm very excited to see it. Like, comment, subscribe. This is the Empire. Geobossing Empire. Peace.